Out of here, you two! Oh, get out of here! It's private property! Trespassing! <laughs> Alright, good. I'm going to be working on some clothes for Liana. I'm going to make her a really nice skirt as a surprise for her. So I need to make sure she's out of here. Now this is the ideal place to start for you if you want to get into making clothes. Skirts, they're so easy to make. So once you've mastered the skirt, you can move on to making t-shirts and all sorts of things like that, okay? So to make this skirt, there's a few things you're going to need, all right? And of course, that means you're going to need a bit of fabric. So here I've got an old curtain, okay? Let me just unravel that for you. All right, it looks like a shower curtain, but it's not. It's just got the big holes at the top. Okay, now the great thing about this material is that it's static. So have a look up the top here, if I go like that, there's literally no stretch in it at all. It just doesn't give. You want nice static material just like this, nothing elastic, okay, because it means that the skirt is really gonna hold its shape. It's not gonna go all warped and weird looking, okay? So if you don't have any fabric around the place, head down to Spotlight, that's the fabric store, and uh, they'll hook you up with something. You're gonna need about 1.5 meters of static material in uh, your color choice. Okay, now over here, I have got some elastic, very stretchy, and this here is going to be for Liana's waist. That's gonna hold the skirt to her body. Okay, and as you can see, it's um, quite wide, this one. That's to make it nice and strong. And then down on the deck down here, I've got a few more things. I've got some thread. Now, the thing with the thread is, pick a color that matches your fabric. So if you have a look on here, look. Here's the thread that's going through the material. And when it goes through another color, it really pops. It doesn't look as nice. So if you can match it with the same color as your material, then it looks much tidier and you're better off, okay? So you're gonna need some thread. Then over here, I've got some pins. They're about $3.50 from Spotlight as well. They come in very handy for holding all your material together as you work on it. I've got some fabric scissors, okay? All right, so you might need someone older to give you a hand with those. Down here, I've got some safety pins. Uh, over here, I've got uh, measuring tape. That's to get Liana's measuring and measurements. And then over here, I've got a, something to mark my fabric with. I've got a ruler there. Over there, I've got an iron and the uh, ironing bench. And then back there, that beast over there, that's my sewing machine. You're gonna need one of those. If you don't have one, ask around. Someone in your family's bound to have one, maybe one of your neighbors, or maybe they've got one at school you can borrow. You could probably whip one of these up on your lunch break, okay? So that's everything you're going to need. The first mission is going to be getting Liana's measurements while having a busted leg. I need your help, man. Can you get Liana's measurements for me? Measurements? I need, yes, I need waist, hip, and length. I got this. Ooh. Hey, Liana, you got yes. some pretty good skills with this basketball hoop. Can you uh, show me a few tips? Oh. <laughs> okay. Okay, so you want to learn how to like shoot properly? Yeah, okay, yeah, yeah, so yeah. So what yeah. you want to do is stand in front of the hoop, okay, just like I am, and don't do is take you your eyes off. Yeah, so yeah. you're going to have the ball in front of you, you kind of want that 90 degree angle, just yeah, like going yeah, there. Stay great. nice and still, cool. and then you're just going to push that ball up, okay? You want to push it up rather than forward, because yeah. it's kind of like you're throwing it out of a phone Oh, I've got to tell Walter that! Uh, Walter! Yeah, yeah, let him know. Wait, this is 75. Yeah. Oh, that's great. I've got that in. So yeah. I, I missed that last part. Can you do it one more time? Okay. Okay, okay. okay. Yep. Looking at the hoop. You want to measure the largest part of the lower body, including the bottom. Follow through, yeah. That's the most important. Yeah, 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 yeah. Follow through is up, and your hand is just going to flick like that. Yeah, just give me the. If I just demonstrate that, if it goes up. Oh, beautiful! I'm going to tell Walter. Yo, Walter. Tell him. One hundred centimeters for the hips. One hundred. Thank you. All right. Here we go. Got any more Yeah, yeah, I got that one. Yeah. Sweet. Nice leg. There they are. Here we go. Look at this. That's pretty good. Hey, you need to show me that one more time. Just one more time. One more time. Okay. Okay, start off at the waist where the skirt will start and then take the measurement of where you want it to end. Alright, are you listening? Yeah, okay, yeah, just tell so them to stick us a watch. Last yeah. one, keep watching. Arm like this, 90 degrees. We're going in the hoop, straight in the hoop. I'm going to close my eyes. Wow, That's you close your eyes on that one? Sweet. Hey, Walter! For the length, it's so good. 44. 44 on the length? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want to turn? Oh, I'll have a turn. Yo, Walter, you got that? Perfect, I got all the numbers. Okay, now there's a few tricks, okay, when it comes to actually cutting out your materials. You see, when you make something like a skirt, you're gonna have things like this. 
you're gonna have seams on your fabric. You see this bit of extra bit there, okay? That's extra fabric that you're gonna need to take into account when you're doing your measurements, okay? So what I'm doing is I'm taking Liana's measurements over there and I'm adding a few things to it to take into account those seams, all right? So for the length, okay? So Liana's length, I need to add on 10 centimeters. So that would be uh, 44 centimeters plus 10 equals 54. Okay, and then for uh, the width or the hip measurement, Liana's was 100 centimeters. So what I need to do is I need to add on 25 centimeters, and then once I've done that, divide it by four. So it'll be 100 plus 25 will be 125, and then it's gonna be 125 divided by four. I'm gonna work that out in just a moment. First of all, take your fabric and fold it in half evenly. Now from the fold, measure upwards your final hip measurement. Then at the base of that line, along the fold, measure along your length. Then from the end of that line, measure up once again your final hip measurement. Repeat that and cut it all out, you'll end up with two big squares. Just looks like I've cut out two squares, I know, but they're very important squares. Liana's gonna love her skirt and tomorrow I'm gonna finish it off. Now all you need to do is subscribe by clicking here. Ja, that's your cue.